GG. Let's go! Too easy, dude! Give me that crown! Boom! You know, back in the day when Honkai Star Rail was announced a few years ago, I thought I would never played it in my life. I never thought I would like the combat this much in Honkai Star Rail. Because I thought the combat system was kind of boring when I first saw it because coming from Genshin with all these elements you can do and all the combat you can do with iframe and stuff. But lo and behold, Honkai Star Rail been out for like a month and a half I think and Honestly, I've been loving it. Uh, like one of my uh, favorites. So because I always like turn-based game because Pokemon one of my favorites. I played Epic Seven, and I always did like strategy-based games. Uh, but Star really has one of my favorites uh, in the combat because it's so simple, but yet has a lot of intricacies and planning based on it and today we'll be talking about the combat of honkai star rail because i'll be honest i saw the um video boris did like a while ago talking about the combat and uh he had some interesting stuff but i decided i want to put my hat in the ring and tell you what i think of the combat and i know my opinion are really the best because i'm kind of small but eh, opinions are opinions if you like it you like it if you don't like it you disagree but for today's video, we'll be talking about if the combat will lead to the downfall of Honkai Star Rail. So, with all that said, let's begin before you guys come for my throat. Time to show you! So, is the combat oversimplified? Well, yes, it's meant to be easy to learn because Hoyo knew what they were doing by making it so widespread to a casual community. But it's also not brain dead easy neither. There is still a level of strategy that you need to put in the game. For example, where you put your tanks to mitigate damage. Character that synergizes with your carry. There's a lot that can go into... I'll give a scenario here. When both Jin Yuan and Ting Yun have their ultimates ready, you would think you would start with Ting Yun burst first, then Jin Yuan ultimate would, so you can buff Jin Yuan burst damage, but no. You wouldn't do that. You would genuine burst first, then use Ting Yuan uh, Ultimate because even though you're not buffing um, genuine Ultimate, uh, you're getting energy back for genuine. And also, genuine main source of damage isn't hit burst; it's Lightning Lord. So she's just buffing up Lightning Lord and giving genuine more opportunity to build up his Ultimate back. Okay, I'll give you another example. I like to use genuine with Asta. And let's say we're doing the Kokolia fight, where she both weak to both fire and electric, right? Normally, Lightning Lord will try to break the shield, because if you have a lot of Lightning Lord stacks, she legit genuine can just melt that shield, but I always try my best to see if Asta can break the shield first, because I have a lot of break effect built into her. I have the break effect set on her, I have the break light cone on her, so my, by default, even though genuine does more damage my asa will be doing more break damage than my genuine so let's say the combat is easy you're not wrong at the same time it's not brain dead easy like you still have to do some thinking i know with a gacha game at the same time you have to use what little brain cells we have to think what we're doing like if we're doing harder things like let's say the chaos realm like you really can't auto the chaos realm unless you like way a level investment this early in the game but one thing I've been noticing, a lot of people have been blaming the combat system a lot, but I never see people talk about the boss or the enemy to fight. And I say we'll talk about that right now. Do low levels make the most noise? So I should probably clarify what I mean by it's not the combat. Because honestly, I'll be honest, the combat, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with the combat, but more like people are just getting fatigued by doing the same thing over and over again. Even even though you have the auto battling, that doesn't stop the fatigue. That just mitigates it for a while. But I'm just gonna say, I don't think the combat is the problem. I think the problem is the lack of mechanics and strategy from both elites and bosses itself. Because realistically, for most of the team, like for the um, Kokolia one, Kokolia has a one-shot ability, but there's no way to make, stop it from happening. The only way to stop it is to either shield break um Kokolia and that's it. So basically all you do in a Kokolia fight is break a shield and kill it, that's it. There's nothing to play around, there's nothing you have to keep in mind, the one shots. 
They bring a strong healer and preservation unit, your damage dealers and our support, and your beat she. Also, this is future Adrian. I forgot to mention that she has Bronya, but all you do is kill she and break her shield, so same logic. So my bad. Which is fine, but uh, realistically, I wish there was more. Because I think a great example of a good design boss battle is the um, calf cap boss fight. I honestly love the calf cap boss fight because it basically you basically force to bring cleanses, which I kind of appreciate. It's more different than the other ones. Because instead of just trying to break her shield down, I had to play around her domination by bringing both Clara and Natasha to play around the, the domination. And another good example of a boss fight you have to plan for is the um, Sparag boss fight with the um, hands. Like normally he weak to uh, both electric and fire, so I would you would think I would just bring my ultimate shield breaking team with um Chin Yu Wan and Asta because if it's a, if they are weak to both fire and electro that shield is gone. But whenever I enter the um Spark fight, I never bring um Asta. I bring Chin Yu Wan and Ting Yun because I need to play around the hands that can trap you, and the hands are not weak to fire. They are weak to electric. So that's why I brought Tingyuan instead of Asta because I always like to bring Asta over Tingyuan for the speed to help cycle through Jinyuan. But so as you guys can see what I mean, it's because I really do like playing around mechanics because I find that's fun. But if they add more mechanics, they would I don't know what they would do exactly, but they already have ideas because it can be like an enemy you need to kill or hurt you like the spark hands. Or the um, centaur horse looking thing that if you apply with wind shear, he targets you with an arrow that could one shot you. Uh, like those types of. And obviously, um, the um, Kafka domination thing. So, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think the combat is ever the problem. I think it's the lack of um, strategy and uh, mechanics from the boss. But obviously, there are a lot of enemies that have mechanics, but. I think they should do more than just um, either counter you or, or stuff like stuff you have to plan for. I don't think you can plan for the freaking woman so that can just hit you if you do nothing. Or perma stun you like freaking a freaking um, ice monster that I despise. We shall never fall! So my final thoughts is that there's nothing wrong with the combat, it's just people are just getting um, tired of the same old thing over and over again. Which is fair, but I just think um, in the future they should add more mechanics so you have to play around them. Which I, they would do because we're only a month in this game, so yeah, that's very possible. We have to be patient, but not that patient, so we're very complacent. But also mindful at the same time. But also from what I heard, 2.1 is gonna be a lot of content. So that's something to look forward to, but... Anyways, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you watching this true. It really did mean a lot to you that you would take the time out of the day to watch my crap. So I thank you. But with well, that said, let me know what I should do next. Leave your suggestions and also let me know if I said anything wrong or let me know what you think about this because I do like your opinions. Because I always navigate for criticism and for opinions. So if you want to give one, feel free. I'm not gonna kill ya. Maybe I might. Eh, we'll find out. Be safe everybody, and goodbye.